Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a video um, on a new project that I'm starting and it's a little bit different from what I've been working on but it's something I've really been wanting to get into and that is to make a junky junk journal. Um, I really want to focus on using packaging from food and really just packaging from anything. So I been saving a lot of things just over time as I've gotten more and more into junk journaling and so I saved so much packaging and I reuse so much stuff um, but specifically for this I really tried to save um, some interesting looking things so you might be looking at this little it's like to open a soda can. I'm sure you know what this is. <laughs> but this is the kind of stuff I've been saving. And my diet is pretty limited. So I don't really hardly ever eat or drink anything with packaging. So what I've asked of close family and friends is to save me food packaging, um, just anything, junk food, um, fast food bags, like fun stuff, you know, stuff that's not like a bell pepper, pa like bag or something. <laughs> but I wanted to quickly show you, I have three boxes going. I have two here with me. So I just wanted to show you what kind of stuff I've been saving. So let me just move the camera and I hope the lighting is okay. So I have one box right here. And then I have another box right here. And this is what I got from my friend and my cousin. So lots of really fun stuff. And I want to kind of go through it and show you what I have. But I also want to start thinking about what I'm gonna use, like start picking things out. So I'm gonna use this for something for sure. I don't have a lot of those. I have this eyeliner box. It was a gold eyeliner box from Halloween. And I like that it's glittery. So it was a box like this, flattened like that. I have this. This was, it had this little sticky pad in there so that you can put your phone on your dashboard and it won't slide around. And the packaging has a little tray. I don't know if you can see that. So I thought it would be cool to try to do something with this. But if not, I generally save these anyways for when I'm doing mixed media, like to put water in or something for painting. I have this LaCroix um, cardboard box that I held a pack. I think this would be a really cool journal cover. I have this file folder um, packaging that I'm sure you saw in one of my hauls. So I really want to use fun things like this. And this is something that I don't ever eat, but I had made, I had worked on a party a year ago. So Christmas of last year or January of last year, maybe. And I use Rice Krispie Treats, so I saved this from last year. And I want to use something fun and junk foody like that for my journal. This is from Face Wash. I have stuff like this. This is from Instant Ink. It has a little window right here that might be cool for something. I got these pens from... Dollar Tree 
And these are really good. They're gel pens, but they have glitter in them and they write so well. But I have the packaging for that. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff I have, like contact solution, packaging, um, this cracker box. And in my cupboard, I don't even know what this is from, but I thought pink would be cool. I, I mean, it's like a Cool Whip container, but I'm thinking about cutting this out and using it in some way. I went to this really cool back to school clearance sale, 90% off at Rite Aid. I had so much fun, but I was finding things like this. This glue was like, I don't know, like 19 cents or something crazy like that. And I found some pens, like probably 25 cents for a pack. This is, I got this from Marshalls. It's one of those detoxifying pads that you put on your feet, or I got it from TJ Maxx. And I thought that would be cool as a pocket or something. And what else? All right, let me look at some of my cousin's stuff because she has fun food. <laughs> she, drumsticks. And even though it's just this little piece, this would be good for a journaling spot or a pocket or something. I have this little box. I think this is from Halloween. And this is candy from Halloween. Bags like this. I mean, I really hope that working on this journal won't make me hungry. And she has really fun stuff. Oh, I bought this for my, um, we did indoor trick or treating with my nieces and my niece and nephews. And I bought them this. You can't really see most of the, the packaging but it's, it's called Unicorn Dew and it's a candy dispenser. And basically it was, um, it came with a unicorn and little candies and the unicorn pooped candy. So the kids loved that. I have this Kool-Aid wrapper. Um, what else? Twinkies. This would be an awesome cover. Cereal box. That would be awesome. This is a straw box and I like that it has a window right here. Could definitely do something with that. What else? Let me see if I can find something a little bit different. This would be great for something. So you get the idea, just lots of fun, different types of packaging. Um, the, I'd say for me, the more recognizable stuff, the better. And I actually have recognizable and fun like rice crispy treats i mean that kind of fun kind of food <laughs> but um i have little bags downstairs from produce like i bought some turmeric and it came in a netted bag so i think that would go well um but yeah so i want to kind of take you guys through this process i am going to end this video right here just so you guys can have an idea of what things I'm picking and choosing from and in my next video I will come back and show you what things I selected and I'll start putting it together into a signature. Um, if you have any questions at all please leave me a comment down below and if you liked this video if you want to see more junky junk journal videos I'm not going to really focus on it I think I'm just going to make one of these 
but I think it'd be fun to take you along on the process. So if you like that idea, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.